Hi, this is another short uh, video clip I'm making here. Um, one of the most unusual pieces of the Second World War. Here we have a German three rotor Enigma decoding machine. Here we can see it in its closed position in its wooden case. Let's just open the lid. And there we are, there's the machine itself. Let's just get a bit of focus on here. Up on the top, at the top of the screen, you can see in the centre a paper clip holder. You can also see the rack for the spare bulbs. Empty, unfortunately, but that's the way it came. This is an original Enigma machine from Jersey in the Channel Islands. Underneath the bulb rack, you can see the, if I call it plastic, um, the reflective uh, plastic screen that goes over the letters for use at night. And then we have some basic uh, instructions on the metal plate there. And underneath that you can see there's two extra jack plugs. You can also see the serial number and the date A11011 and the date of 1940. And then we move further down and you can see the main keyboard. Uh, let's just drop the front flap down for you. You've got the sticker board at the front there. This is the jack plugs which enables further, further encryption of your coded letter. Again, you can see the uh, serial number A11011. There's your keyboard with the German alphabet um, and your light up section just above it. So effectively, when you type with the bottom keyboard, your letter will come back coded to you on the top on the top section of letters there. Let's just give it a go. Let's just have a look. Um, if I press H, the letter G lights up. If I press K, the letter T lights up. If I press C, the letter D lights up. So there we are. What we have here is a working 1940 German three-rotor Enigma machine from Jersey in the Channel Islands. Uh, Picked up on Liberation Day 1945 by a Jerseyman who was looking for radio equipment. He took it home, couldn't find where to put the paper, thinking it was a typewriter. He closed the box up and left it in the cupboard for the next 30, 40 years till he gave it to me when I was about 13 years of age. It's been in my possession ever since. Um, I actually have two because he picked up another machine at the same time. I've also got A12370 which is dated 1941. That machine is on display in my museum here in Jersey on the Five Mile Road, Channel Island Military Museum. Um, that's to be seen by the public seven days a week when the, when the uh, season started. Normally the Monday before Good Friday all the way through to the end of October. But as you can see this machine's in pretty good condition. You can see that the actual rotor cover uh, here is broken and that would have resulted in the cover being up and somebody shutting the lid, this cover coming down and the corner of the cover hitting this, ultimately snapping off the corner, which is a bit of a shame, but that's its life, that's its history, that's what's happened, can't do anything about it. Um, internally it's complete, it's working as you can see. Um, I guess it's, uh, albeit not as uh, rare as it once was, these things are occurring, you know, they're popping up every now and again, people do find them. It's still a rare item and uh, I'm quite proud to own it. Okay, that's all for now. Cheers. Bye.